Hello and welcome back to Minecraft Enchantments. Um, so today we'll be going over the tools, mainly because um, there's not much to talk about with the tools, unlike the armor, um, where we had where we had like multiple tests to go and seeing that you know which one is which one's the best, which ones damage you from what. Um, the tools are rather simple right now. Um, and it, uh, um, the, I do know that in the next update, in when the next combat update comes out, um, they will be uh, uh, changing some stuff, giving the axe enchantments for combat. So I will be doing individual like videos for like changes to nerfs and buffs and stuff like that for each one, um, just because you know I want to. So let's start off with the pickaxe. Um, so we have two sets here, a Silk Touch one and a Fortune one. They're exactly the same except for one has Silk Touch. Uh, Unbreaking free, efficiency and mending. Um, the reason... Um, hold on, I'm going to need to go into survival. But um, I, I would suggest that in a world you would want both of these. Um, and the reason why is... The reason why you want both of these in survival is because when you're down in the mines, you want to go around collecting up your ores, but um, you don't want them. But um, silk touch keeps them in the ore form, um, and then uh, you know you mine up all these diamonds or whatever ores you find. And then it, to reduce the amount of inventory they're taking up, and then when you get home, you know, you're just, oh, I'm home now, I'm gonna just like lay these out. And then you mine them with your fortune pickaxe to get as many diamonds as you can out of them. Um, so I would suggest taking your uh, silk touch one into the mines with you, leaving your fortune one at home. Then when you get home, use your fortune pick to break all yours. Also you can do it um, like this. This is my favourite way to break ores. Um, just nerd pole into the sky. Get your pick out and just hold down the, the trigger. Uh, yeah, so that's pickaxes. That's very um, basic. Um, so actually, one new thing is going to destroy these ones. Now, shovels. Um, again, silk touch and fortune. Now these, I would suggest either having one or the other. I would suggest having a silk touch one because the silk touch one allows you to gather grass, mycelium. And it, um, it won't give you flint from breaking gravel, so if you're working with gravel and you want it as gravel and not as flint, then I'd suggest having a silk touch. Um, but yeah, and the only real reason you would have a fortune one is to get a bunch of flint, which flint isn't the most useful item in the game. Um, the only thing you can really use it for is uh, making a lot of flint and steels and it's not often unless you're a griefer that you'll be using a lot of flint and steels so um i would definitely suggest going for silk touch just because it has more uses because you're more likely to want to get grass blocks and mycelium or whatever other kind of um Blocks can only be gotten through silk touch that you need. Um, I would also suggest, um, well, not suggest, but this is something I've wanted for the um, shovel, is um, for them to add the, the silk touch ability uh, to take the grass color. Because if you do know, in different biomes, grass has different colors, so different shades of green. And um, why well, you use silk touch on the grass in the, the um, jungle biome, and then you moved it to a different biome, it would still look like um, jungle, look like the grass in the jungle biome. 
Um, which would mean that you could have uh, um, the jungle biome grass in any other biome because the grass in the desert doesn't look very nice. So if you wanted to like um, uh, use the jungle biome grass in a desert, then that then that would look really cool, and then there wouldn't be any rain. So yeah, just be very cool. Um, next is axe. No, why am I creative? I guess I'm trying to pick block it. Uh, same as for as the pickaxe, uh, but with this, I really say fortune. Or Silk Touch and really a big deal because all that Silk Touch allows you to do is pick up leaves, which I don't have Silk Touch on this, but all it does is allow you to pick up the leaves, which is just like, eh, not, I'd rather just like use two eye into craft a pair of scissors and going out of my way to get um, Silk Touch. And I don't know whether or not if um, the axe increases your chances of getting, um, you know, saplings or. Um, apples or anything. Um, I think Exumavoid has done a myth busting video on that. Um, so you could probably watch his video on that if you want. Because um, I really don't have the time here to do a big test on decaying leaves and all that. And it, um, yeah, so, uh, yeah, if. If you're going for either Silk Touch or Fortune, go for Fortune because um, it would just it would just be easy to get a pair of shears to do the Silk Touch, and it's faster to break it with shears. And um, Fortune may or may not give you more appling apples and sticks. I can neither confirm nor deny that. Um, what's in there? Oh, it's just broken. Now I just dumped them in there. Right, next is the hoe. Now I'm going to do a quick test with this hoe. Yeah, this is the fortune one. So it, this has mending and unbreak. This only has mending and unbreaking. It's supposed to have fortune. But um, yeah, I guess I'll just quickly nip into creative and put fortune on it. But um, you can see over there I've built uh, three basic farms. What I'm going to do um, after I put um, fortune on this, is um, harvest them uh, for um, I'm what I'm going to do is um, grow them up by uh, um, setting the ra in game random uh, uh, tick speed. I apparently can't put fortune on a hoe. That is a change they have made. Huh. So there really is no reason to use a hoe over um, just your fist. So that has basically made this entire section here pointless. So, we're going to do two tests now instead, so I'm just going to smash this up with me. So, we're going to see if fortune affects um, how many crops you get from, you know, harvesting them. So, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into survival. Um, and what, I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to press this and after this, so basically this has 10, I, 10 redstone in it. It's going to filter down into the hopper when all 10 have gone out, um, this light is, will turn on so I don't lose track of how many times I've done this. And we're going to see if fortune really does affect this and um, to make the crops grow I'm going to go into settings. I'm going to go all the way down here, uh, respawn, random tick speed, I'm going to set that to 600, it'll grow them all up after a bit, yeah these are all fully grown now. And I'm going to turn it off while I'm harvesting them. So 
Just go all the way back down here. Alright. Oh, it's lagging. Anyway, so I'm going to go, I'm going to turn it off. Um, I'm going to turn it down to like one or something. And then I'm going to replant the crops. And then harvest them and just like rinse and repeat and see if the fortune um, enchantment does affect um, how many crops you get from um, harvesting. Yeah, you know what I mean. I'll, I'll be back uh, once I've done that. Um, here because there's not really any point in continuing on. Like I, the only reason I even did this twice is just because I wanted to use this more than once. Um, and even then, I, it's you know I was gonna do it ten times just to see, but no. Um, so you know it's clear. Uh, you have to be bl you'd have to be blind to not be able to see that. Fortune does impact at this because it's like double the amount. Um, no poop. Um, let me just grab some. Ow. I'm being attacked! Ah! Ah! Why does this always happen to me? Yeah, damn it! Ah! Um, sword! Do I have a sword? Sword? Yes! My car! Okay, got rid of those guys. What armor did I even pick up? I picked up... Oh, fire protection. That wasn't too helpful, but... Uh, it was some armor to help me not to die instantly. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to leave this here as a little reminder of when we got attacked at okay, that time. So yeah, and this is annoying because clearly fortune does increase the amount of... Um, you know, crops you get from harvesting them. Um, so it's annoying because the hoe cannot have fortune. And that would be really cool if you could have fortune on your hoe and then it would increase uh, the amount of crops you got from harvesting them. But no. So it, it, it's, it's, the, it's only the pick, the shovel, and the axe who can do that. So. Um, if I were you, I would just use a fortune pick. Um, I wouldn't have a stone rim like I have. I would use a wood rim. And uh, um, I would just use pickaxe to harvest crops. Get as much yield from it as you can. Or if you have a skeleton farm, um, use uh, one of those... Um, whatchamacallit? The... Um, Thing where uh, you uh, basic, 
uh, where you basically have uh, two, yeah, you have four dispensers, um, all bone mealing one crop at a time, and uh, I think I showed that off one time. And then I basically, and then you'd basically be better off just whacking it with a pickaxe. Um, and then you'd get more um, yield from your crops. But seriously, why, Mojang? Why? Why can toes? have uh, fortune on him like out of any tool you'd think hose would be the one to get fortune if fortune affected uh, um, how much stuff you got from them but no apparently even though fortune does affect it the hoe doesn't get fortune so I'll see you guys in uh, the next video after I just do something that I just thought of. Do you does this increase how many seeds you get from hitting grass? Uh, not by the looks of it. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh bye bye.